Hello and welcome back to another NRG Tennis game. And this time we go 16-bit to the Super Nintendo with Smash Tennis by Namco 1993. Also known in Japan as Super Family Tennis. Could be um, mistaken there for a sequel to uh, Super Tennis, but unrelated. So, straight on, you've got tournament, exhibition, options. Not many in the options here. Can't reconfigure keys uh, or buttons, which is always a shame. But never mind. Tournament is standard to the world, all that kind of business. We're going to do an exhibition. We'll have a little wipe there. And uh, how you want your opponent to be set up. Com versus com. Well, surely that's just a demo, isn't it? Oh, look at the bottom one. Com versus com versus com versus com. Nice. I think we'll go one on one. Me versus computer. And the typical stereotype names, similar to the ones that are in Super Tennis, aren't they? Mark, Paul, Steve, Susan, Rose, Marina. I think I'll be John, because I play as John in uh, Super Tennis. Who shall we be? Uh, who shall we play against, should we say? Paul, Tony, uh, Brian. Brian! Yes, let's be Brian. Well, no, we're not going to be Brian, we're going to be playing against Brian. Some great courts in this, um, unusual. You've got the standard courts at the bottom there grass, hard and clay. And then you've got these themed courts, which are quite fun, unique, uh, all in the anime style. There's a beach court, you can play on sand. That wouldn't work in real life, would it? Hmm, tennis on the beach. No. Uh, we'll play the lodge court, I think. Shall we play the lodge court? Yes, because that's the one with the weather effects. If I remember. One set match, just a quick, we're not going to go for a whole set. It's long-winded, this one, and there's a good reason why. There we go. Typical anime style. Very, um, very RPG, actually. Um, the sprites and the surrounding things. And an interesting score set there. Here we go. Bang! There we go. Right. Oh, that was a great start. The style of this is, as you can see, very similar to Super Tennis in this cartoony way. Um, but it plays pretty differently. Uh, it's certainly slower. That's not a bad thing uh, in this case. It, it can be quick. All like that. So nice quick serve. And the animation, oof. the animation of the uh, players is very nice. Um, quite detailed, which can't be said about the surrounding um, characters. Oh, flock of birds there. Oh, ooh, David got it. Come on, winner! No, that was too slow. Bang! There you go. Look at the umpire up there on his strange chair. Yeah, he doesn't move much. Another net, another net court judge. <laughs> They're very blocky, and so as you can see at the top there, the surrounding all um, crowds, we could call them crowd people, yeah, pretty blocky. They're just sort of stuck in there. There's some funny effects in some other courts. You can actually get them um, knocked out if you hit the ball against them and things like that. Anyway, back to the game. The style of it is different. Um, ooh, we won that. Change court. No flashy mode 7, unfortunately. It's a bit of a pity. Um, when you're playing... Ooh, won that. Oh, sorry, I'm getting completely sidetracked here. I'm playing the game and not talking. Right. Um, see, the ball is a lot slower. Um, and um, your movement is also slower than a lot of uh, tennis games. Uh, good movement. Strange camera angles. I mean, that's odd why it does that a lot. It just goes out of court. And, oh, it's quite unforgiving. It's not as forgiving as Super Tennis. I mean, you can sort of sometimes chip one in um, when you're completely out of position off time. This, you've really got to time well and uh, choose the shot and position. Uh, positioned um, for direction using the D-pad. And I've just overcooked that one big time. That's so easy to do in this, to overcook them top spin shots down the line. Very difficult to get a down the line shot. Um, the camera angle is nice, a nice wide perspective area, so it's very easy to play at the top as well as the bottom, which is always good for a tennis game. Ow, I did it again! Uh, advantage computer. Um, there's little cheeky effects, like they'll see the shadow cast there by the, by the tree. Nice winner, down the straight in his face, that one. And there's some, obviously, sort of the beginning, some 
cloud effects and on the beach one for instance you can hear the sea oh yeah, I did it that time hear the sea and the lapping of the waves and the wind on the mountain stage and that's kind of nice I like them little touches it gives it it's very unique very different in that way but playing the game itself <coughs> it's difficult to get used to straight away once you do it's actually really good and quite fun uh, to adjust yourself to sort of the, t the speed of the ball and the general speed of the play you really do have to time things uh, bang on. If you want to get like a, a smash winner, a cross-court passing shot or something, you've got to really time it perfectly with a bounce, like I've completely not done there. <sighs> because the ball does go so slow sometimes, you can actually get two chances. Oh, I volleyed that out. And that's another thing. It um, will automatically do a volley if uh, you're slightly out of position. Ooh, sheer guy. Uh, it will automatically volley at the, at the front when you come into the net. I don't like the net. The net doesn't look like a net. It looks like a picket fence, like a brick wall just slapped in the middle of a tennis court. Um, and I'm not sure about the sounds. It's a pop, 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 pop. You know, it's a very... I don't, not, yeah, I don't like those sound effects. They're not really accurate. Um, yeah. Not not perfect. And that voiceover that does the that says the score, it's nice it's there, um, but it's kind of inaudible and a bit inco incomprehensible, a bit like me at the moment. I don't get me words out. So it's got it's a mixed bag. It's 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 good to play once you've learned how to play. It's really quite fun. It's good, great, great at shot making. Um, you can reconstruct some real nice points once you know what you're doing and get your positioning and timing right. And there's a nice variance of shots as well using the the four buttons of the SNES. Lob shots. Slice, which is very similar to an oh crap slice shot, which is very similar to the uh, normal forehand backhand. Well, that was a quick serve. Oh, what a winner! Um, and the top spin shot. Um, they then last three are very similar in the way they look. Uh, they, I mean, a lot of tennis games. Oh crap! A lot of tennis games they'll look very differently, but they they kind of look the same. Um, the top spin shot does behave slightly differently, of course. It dips in, uh, which I didn't do there. So, all in all, it's not bad. Um, I've played better. It doesn't beat Super Tennis for me on the SNES. This is uh, it's, it's a good second. I like the style. The anime style is nice. Um, it could have done with being a, bit, a little bit faster, I suppose. I think because the animation of the of the racket swing is kind of laboured, you know, it wouldn't, that would have to be in, you know speeded up too. I do like them effects though. They're quite distracting, and I think that what makes it a little bit more fun. The variance of courts is nice. Um, lack of options, unfortunately. Um, and again, just feels a little bit more slower pace and not as frantic as uh, what I would like to see in a tennis game. But it's got lots of elements that are really good. And like I said, the shot making is really good. Um, you can produce some real nice points. Ooh, oh, that was a lovely serve. But what a return by me. Bloody hell, did I do that? So, good job by uh, Namco. Good job. Interesting, interesting, uh, it's very Japanese, uh, but you know, we like that, don't we? <laughs> so that's Smash Tennis on the Super Nintendo. I think we'll wrap it up there because I'm going to oh, go on all night doing this. Um, oh, it, there's, there's a diving thing which is annoying as well. Um, sometimes you'll dive automatically and for no reason at all, which is really annoying. But anyway, uh, 1993 Smash Tennis on the Super Nintendo. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next NRG. Nova Bug out. <laughs>